It is the largest shipbuilding initiative that Canada has undertaken since the Second World War. The River Class Destroyer Project, formerly known as the Canadian Surface Combatant Project, is the largest and most complex shipbuilding initiative in Canada since World War II, replacing outdated Iroquois-class destroyers and Halifax-class frigates. The project plans to build 15 new warships at a cost of $60 billion, with total costs reaching $220 billion over 30 years. It will create 10,800 jobs annually and contribute $40 billion to Canada's economy. Construction began in June 2024 at Irving Shipbuilding in Halifax, with the first ship, HMCS Fraser, expected in the early 2030s. Today, we are officially launching construction for the Canadian Service Combatant Project. And this project is going to deliver a new fleet of 15 warships for the Royal Canadian Navy. The new ships will protect Canada's Arctic from Russian submarines, counter China's Pacific naval presence, and support NATO missions. To expedite the process, Canada requested existing ship designs in 2017. The chosen design was BAE Systems Type 26 Global Combat Ship, selected in 2018 over Navantia's F-105 Aegis Destroyer and Allion's D-7 Provincian-class frigate for its suitability to Canada's needs. Other bids, like naval group Fincantieri's Frem ER, were rejected for procedural issues. But what exactly is Canada's primary reason for choosing the Type 26 frigate over Navantia's destroyer and Allianz frigate? Let's find the answer. Navantia's F-105 Based on the Spanish Navy's Alvaro de Bazan-class Aegis destroyers and submitted via a consortium with Saab Australia and CEA Technologies, features a displacement of 6,700 tons, a length of 147 meters, a beam of 18.6 meters, and combined diesel or gas propulsion, delivering 29 knots with a 5,000 nautical mile range, accommodating a crew of 220. Weapons highlight the Aegis combat system with SPY-1D radar, 48 Mark 41 VLS cells for SM-2 or ESSM missiles, Harpoon anti-ship missiles, a 127mm main gun, 220mm close-in weapon systems, and anti-submarine warfare torpedoes, plus NH-90 helicopter support and towed sonar for balanced multi-role operations. Its strengths lie in proven air defense prowess since the early 2000s, low technical risk from mature systems, and strong command and control for NATO task groups, offering immediate availability and cost-effective integration. Rejected in favor of the Type 26, the F-105 fell short primarily due to inadequate anti-submarine warfare performance, lacking quiet propulsion and advanced sonars critical for Arctic and North Atlantic submarine threats, alongside its older 1990s architecture limiting future growth margins and adaptability to emerging cyber threats in Canada's harsh environments. The De Zeven Provincian class offered by Allian Canada with Damon Group and rooted in the Dutch Navy's LCF air defense vessels, displaces 6,050 tons, spans 144 meters in length, with a 18.8-meter beam and employs combined diesel or gas propulsion for 29.5 knots and a 5,000 nautical mile range at 14 knots with a crew of 174. Armaments include the APAR Radar Integrated Tactico System, 32 Mark 41 VLS cells for SM-3 or ESSM missiles, 8 Harpoon anti-ship missiles, a 127mm Oto Malara gun, Mark 46 torpedoes, and two NH-90 helicopters, bolstered by Smart-L early warning radar and electronic warfare suites for comprehensive threat engagement. Key advantages are its decade-plus of NATO-proven interoperability, efficient build processes from Damon, and robust electronic warfare for fleet command in contested airspace, providing balanced multi-role capabilities at reduced initial costs. Ultimately rejected, 
The design was deemed suboptimal for Canada's anti-submarine warfare-centric needs, due to noisy propulsion hindering submarine detection amid Russian threats, coupled with a less modular structure constraining upgrades for unmanned and cyber domains. Legal challenges from Alien over bid compliance further delayed proceedings, but did not sway the decision toward the more versatile Type 26. The Type 26, proposed by Lockheed Martin Canada in partnership with BAE Systems, is a cutting-edge global combat ship design measuring 151.4 meters in length, with a beam of 20.75 meters and a displacement of around 8,000 tons, powered by a combined diesel-electric or gas system featuring two Rolls-Royce MT-30 gas turbines and four MTU diesel generators for speeds up to 27 knots and a 7,000 nautical mile range at 15 knots. Its armament includes 32 Mark 41 vertical launch system cells for SM-2 or SM-6 missiles, quad-packed ESSM for point defense, 24 naval strike missiles for anti-surface rolls, a 127mm Oto Malara gun, Mark 54 torpedoes, and support for MH-60R helicopters and MQ-8 UAVs, complemented by the AN Spy-7 radar and ANSLQ-32 electronic warfare suite. The BAE Systems Type 26 frigate stands out as the superior choice for Canada's river-class destroyer project due to its tailored alignment with the Royal Canadian Navy's core operational needs, particularly in high-threat environments like the Arctic and North Atlantic. First, its exceptional anti-submarine warfare capabilities, featuring acoustic quietness, advanced hull-mounted and towed sonars, far surpass those of the Navantia's F-105 and Allion's De Zeven Provincian class both of which suffer from noisy propulsion systems that compromise stealthy submarine detection amid rising threats from Russian subs. This anti-submarine warfare edge is critical for Canada's vast maritime domains, where subsurface defense is a priority over the rival's air defense focus. Second, the Type 26's modular mission bay and versatile design enable rapid reconfiguration for diverse roles. From humanitarian aid to special forces support, offering greater flexibility than the more rigid, anti-air warfare-centric architectures of the F-105 and De Zeven Provincien, which limit adaptability in multi-mission scenarios. Third, its Bode-Stern digital architecture minimizes obsolescence risks with expansive growth margins for future upgrades. Unlike the 1990s-era designs of competitors, that would demand costly retrofits to integrate emerging technologies like cyber defenses or unmanned systems. Additionally, the Type 26 nearly doubles the operational range, 7,000 nautical miles versus 5,000, of the other candidates, enhancing endurance for extended deployments with minimal logistics, while shared production with allies like the UK and Australia ensures interoperability and cost savings, avoiding $2 billion in redundant research and development. Overall, these attributes make the Type 26 a future-proof, high-survivability platform that maximizes the Royal Canadian Navy's single-class fleet efficiency, justifying its selection despite rivals' lower upfront costs or proven anti-air warfare strengths. <laughs>